There's Zeus. I think that's Zeus, right? Yeah, he's dead. Going in. Dropping in straight around. Almost dropped him back into his ultimate. Oh, we need to body block here. We need a body block here. Come on, let me body block. Good stuff. We can actually body block against the hammer if she's so near. We have a horrific here. I'm gonna go in. That's our mat as well. And we got the kill. Nice. What is up beautiful people, it's Siladin here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Shin Chan in Conquest, a company here by Rom, I guess what looks like a Bologna Zeus? I would say Zeus, but it might as well be Thor support or some shit like that. Starting the purple buff as usual, not a big support player, but decided to dish out Shin Chan. He's buff. very OP yeah. right now, and Thank not you. a whole lot of people realize that he's actually the best support in the game right now. Just looking out, we didn't have a word there. Fantastic. The clear, as you see, is pretty good. Okay, it's Bologna. Who's our second guy here? Enemy oh, it's Zeus. Oh, I'm so going for it. We got his base for my horrific, my which is way. completely worth it. Uh, that was a good play because okay. Uh, okay. we have such nice an aggressive job. build, and I'm gonna build aggressively for a very uh, ego support. Not a whole lot of support items. I think I'm gonna go uh, as a Brian team that I'm just gonna build hybrid items because Xing Xing just deals so much damage. Let's pop her up. Just allow Roma to deal some damage. Ooh, he got those autos. Look at this damage. That's nice, but we gotta fall back here. The thing is, Bologna can lock him down pretty well, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I'm looking for a poke on Zeus, of all things. Our clear is better than theirs, so it's fine. And we might also be better if we just get outpushed a little bit and pull back. Oh, Rom's in trouble. Just don't like how Rom keeps pushing under the tower. You don't do that against Bologna. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage. As you see, the thing about Xing Chang is that we have insane sustain. Look at my HP 5. I basically have two pots running on a constant basis, and that allows me to be completely stupid with what I do. That's their meditation. We're gonna harass Zeus a little bit. Oh, that's a blink. That's an that's an emesis. That's what I was talking about. We should not be pushed up as far. Meanwhile, our jungler is ganking solo lane, which is extremely unfortunate. Well, our jungler died in the fight to a 2v1 fight against the solo laner. As you would expect, honestly, at this point in the game. But at least our solo laner was able to secure them. But in the end, it's 2v3 uh, trade. It's completely not worth it. We're gonna be behind now in the dual lane and solo... No, the jungler is also behind. Enemy missing. You just don't see it yet, but Nemesis is gonna hit level 4 before our Odin, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna grab this totem buff, need my MP5. Okay, we have a gank, let's go in. We have horrific, Zeus still has nothing. No, he has his beats back, okay. Let's secure him. Unfortunately, Bologna was able to solo wrong. Pulling back a little bit. We can't really kill Bologna at this point. And Odin needs to leave, like right now. Oh, wasn't able to break her bludgeon. Just gonna pull off. Be careful, right? We have chalices running and we have MP5 from a totem. I think I'm gonna stay here. It's totally fine. The more damage I take, the higher my HP 5 is, and if you see, i almost at half HP right now. That's all of the totem that I'm gonna get. 
Just marking the minions. Uh, not trying to participate in that fight. Just marking the minions for XP and gold. Let's pop her up. Oh, there's Zeus. He ulted immediately, but it looks like Rom done. was able to get out of the ult. Dude, that guy is Let's harass Zeus. He had to turn around. That gave us some distance with Rom. I should hide behind this minions and be okay. Uh, we have a good totem control, which allows us some MP5 sustain that we don't have, which is pretty nice. I'm utilizing this actively, and I don't think Rama does. He got those. He yeah, got I mean, those. I, I can alter here, but that we probably won't be able to kill her, so let's just smack her a little bit, waste her time. She wants to back here. And she's gonna, but at least delay by a couple seconds. Slow down. You never know. These couple seconds may be worth it in the end. Or completely not. But there's no hurt in that. Grabbing the purple. Enemy missing left. Uh, we're gonna go for. I'm thinking, choose a focus here. Rom is getting poked out by the bludgeon. Which is unfortunate. Let's get his beats. Keep harassing Zeus. Okay. Bologna was able to secure Rom. I don't really deal as much damage as she does, so... Picking up aggressive Xing Chang. Uh, we actually get out of grass because they're Bologna. Can I get it? Thank you kindly, sir. I'm gonna grab that. Let's freeze this wave a little bit. He's trying to be a bully. And I might actually die for it. I'm not dying. Yeah, it's fine. Look at my HP 5. <laughs> Look at it. I might have actually stayed if we had a totem. But yeah, without mana, there's no reason for me to. The thing is, my ult's ready right now, and uh, Zeus has no beats. So I just walk around, and I'm faster. Oh. We actually need to secure this. On my way. Enemy missing left. The problem with this approach is that Rom keeps getting caught by Bologna, and he cannot do shit to her, understandably, at this point in the game. Bologna is like an ideal ADC shutdown, and she's actually higher level than my, my ADC. There's Zeus. I think that's Zeus, right? Yeah, he's dead. Going in. Dropping in straight at Rom. Almost dropped him back into his ultimate. Oh, we need to body block here. We need a body block here. Come on, let me body block. Good stuff. We can't actually body block against the hammer if she's so near. We have a horrific here. I'm gonna go in. That's our med as well. And we got the kill. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. Enemy missing metal. Careful, right. Enemies in the left jungle. Enemies have returned to middle. I'm returning to base. I'm building okay. stacks. Let's look at their red buff. It might be up. Oh, okay. Not sure, but we're gonna commit to this. Oh, Janice is here. Nice. So you got red buff control. And I'm gonna be back in for Sarindy. How much is it? Okay, I, I have enough. Janice got out with his ultimate. It's fine. I think Bologna dropped her ult. So it wasn't complete waste. Um, Nemesis in right lane on the ward. Looks like Rama can see her, but he still pushes up. I think he's dead. Looks like he reached the tower after all, so it's fine. Enemies in the right jungle. Hmm. There's a ward here. Let's grab Zeus bees, maybe. Enemy ultimate down. I just want to drop him away. Maybe that will allow Rom to survive. He did. Now we're just falling back. Not a whole lot. Oh, he pushed back into Bologna after using his dash. Why would you do that, man? Jump in her bludgeon. 
missing. Yeah, we got the Zeus, so a little bit more poke. He's a very easy to shut down mage, so he should be afraid of a gank here. And I'm keeping him engaged Enemy so missing. that he feel that pressure. But Odin takes our experience instead and just backs off, which is very nice of him. This man is juking like a god during his bludgeons. Hit me. Using horrific here, she's slow. He got those. He ain't got those. Okay, but at least they waste the meditation. Okay, literally all of my teammates are trolls. Looking for a poke here. Oh, that's his beats. I don't know why he would beats that. That gives nothing. If we fall back and I go around, I can ult him. Okay. <laughs> Zeus beats. I don't know why. It's your job not to die. Oh shit. Now we can go and Zeus. That's your beats, my man. I deal a lot of damage. We finally traded. Instead of Bologna going and killing Rom and I'm having to back off, I finally killed them. I finally killed the Zeus and she has to back off. Even though I'm pretty sure she would still be able to kill uh, Rama here with no problem whatsoever. Oh, she's she's out of mana. Okay, fine. I think I'm just gonna straight up back and allow Rom to get all that experience for himself. You see, the goal here is that we're gonna be fighting a lot of people with my HP 5 and sustain in the late game. So I'm going for an Oni Garb, which is gonna give me a lot of mitigation as long as I'm inside of a lot of enemy opponents. Enemy missing. That will make me feel completely unkillable for them and very, very frustrating. <laughs> because uh, Xing Chang's thing is that the dash is on a very short cooldown. You do percent damage health and uh, let's see this. Oh, if I, can, if I would be able to grab this, it's gonna be infuriating for the enemy jungle. So let's do that. Shit. I'm in a little bit of trouble, but my dash is coming up in five. I'm pretty sure she's about to. Yep, she's about to burn her ult. Ooh, we landed after Bologna, so we got no stun and we're safe to get out. Let's horrific some people. They have nothing, so I can be a bully because my jump is coming up again very shortly. That's the thing. I have a lot of sustain, I can go in and out. Look at my HP 5. It's almost 100 now. It's gonna be well over 100. Let's, let's pop it. Oh. I tried to pop his ult. Instead, I just jumped over it. I am dead here. Yeah, that's four people. And I got stuck inside of the Zeus ultimate, which is extremely unfortunate. So we got the Oni Garb. We have CC reduction. We have insane mitigation in the late game when we're gonna be fighting against the whole team. We have that MP5. We have Tor here. Let's pop him. Just force his ult, maybe. Spin him around. Good stuff. Always in the wall. Unfortunately, Janice is not aware that you do that. I still feel he would not be... He would not be dead, even if he hit that, so it's fine. Look, judging by the VGS, Janice thinks that it's my fault that he didn't hit. Something that should have been dropped into the wall. 100% every time. Take this jungle buff. Poggers! There's too many people in left. We should force Gold Fury like right now. On my way. Enemy missing. Patience. Chiri is still full HP. He's having no trouble against all of them. It's not as easy to lock down here. I would not be surprised if he would be alive or even kill somebody. Meanwhile, we got the Gold Fury. Oh, the red just got down. Let's pop him. He used the stuff. I was hoping he would panic beats like he was doing this whole game. And as you can see, Tyr is alive. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, it's it's not as easy to kill the Tyr. Can we jump this with my super short jump? Nah, I don't think so. That's annoying. So you can like brutalize and camo jump. I wonder actually, camo jump got extended. Can you jump this thing or not? 
Dude, that guy is literally a bot. Yeah. Because if you can, it should be a pretty major buff. Oh, this man is around. I cannot do anything to him, so I'll just back away. Let's see, can Nemesis ult me, please? Let's follow her around. She's looking at the right lane, I just follow her. Odin is around, we should ult her. Just be annoying, ult her in the corner here, she has nowhere to go. That's a stun, that should be an ult, there's an ult. She ain't healing from Baron, which is nice, and she should be dead. There you go. Enemy down. Oh, Balloon is very low. She's backing. Stop it, girl. Good stuff. I don't think I would be able to catch her. Zeus should be also dead. Let's ward up over here. Nice. Unfortunately, there's nothing on this part of the map, so let's at least grab a tower. Thor might ult us, but it doesn't feel like there's somebody to kill. Maybe Odin. I think that's about as, as good as it gets for us. I had a lot of gold I should back. I'm gonna go for this stupid new item, Tyrannical Plate Helm, because it gives a lot of physical protection with health. It will top up my crowd control reduction and give me some power. So, feels like a good pickup because Xin Chang is so aggressive. We also picked up Thorns. Oh! Hello, Thor! What you doing here? Can I force your ultimate? Ah, I didn't let him to ult. He used his three. He's gonna steal that. I have no means to secure it. God damn it. He wastes his hammer. Can we catch him now? Okay, that's Nemesis ulted. That's all I wanted. We got Pyromancer in the meanwhile. Can we lock her down? Doesn't look that way. Ooh, what a nice ult. Not gonna give us anything. She wasted blink for it, so at least we have that going for us. Wait. Did she blink? Oh, I guess the first one was a dash, huh? So now she blinks. Okay. It felt like she blinked back then. Let's harass her a little bit. Waste as much time as we can. So, like I was saying, we got thorns. Uh, they're gonna be back in five seconds, and we're gonna engage. Ooh, drop everything on me, please. Popping thorns, going for this Baron. He won't be able to heal it up, so... Oh, there's Thor. I'm in deep trouble. I might die here, but it's gonna be totally worth it. Ooh. We're alive! Look at my MP HP 5! 66 and 6, baby! We're definitely backing here. And Zeus should I be dead. That makes four of their team. <laughs> wow, that spelling. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot to myself when I try to type in the middle of a battle, which is dumb. I should really go for fire. Four people dead. We ain't got rum, so our damage on the objective kind of sucks. And as a support, I cannot force them to do those things, so we should we should roll along with it. What we can do is a gold fury, though. Hopefully, it's coming up soon enough. Looks like tyrannical plate helm doesn't give stacks for jungle minions. I wasn't aware of that. I would have been sure that it gives for any kind of minions, but only the lane minions, I guess. They should mention that in the description. On my way. To just simplify the guessing game. We have a deep ward. Whoever comes in. Oh, hello, Thor. Can I grab your ultimate? My man. Thank you. He has no one to ult. Maybe Odin? Yeah, he ults Odin. I want to pop that. Thank you. I should be dead for it. Let's pop out Thorns, get some damage, and back off. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. We're still alive. Look at my HP 5. It's 91. I basically have okay, three pots running from me right now, just cool. like in passive mode. That's the thing about Xing Cheng, so goddamn annoying. Should I get like Stone of Gaia to make that completely ridiculous? 
I, I guess not. It is just B for the memes. I can I kill this man? I just pop him up and Ooh, let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, Barra. Okay. Let nice him know. Jeffrey, I'm fragging. Can we catch her though? Enemies behind us. Why would she have a blink? Why would she blink 180 so instantly? Probably have macros or some shit. Didn't look like she turned, she just blinked and it was completely 180. Is that Rexy? Because the Rexy is the only player I know who can do that shit, really. Can we ult you, my man? I mean, we did. Should back away, doesn't really do anything for us. I still have a second jump. We need to juke that ultimate. Nice job. Nah, he ain't coming in. It's fine. The fight was over, so if he get, got in there, he would have probably died. It's not as easy to kill me. It's not easy at all. Look at that regen. Ooh, baby. We got void stone for some magical penetration. Uh, a lot of people say that void stone now sucks. But I really find it not to be true. You give percent uh, penetration, which is yes. effective at all stages of the game. And right now it feels like a really good pickup for support to get a little bit of damage for yourself and also provide a whole bunch of penetration for your team. We should go for the big guy. We should definitely go for the big guy. Thor, the ult is down. They don't have anything. Zeus is in the right lane and Nemesis is securing her speed buff. They really should be coming in this way. The person who should be coming this way the most is Rom, of course. I got popped by this. That's 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 dumb. Thor should be ulting this, but he ain't got it. That's the ult. Again. Damn it. Let's stay with Thorns inside. <laughs> I dealt a lot of damage to him. And the thing is, I'm gonna regen a lot of that back. And it's just dead. Let's pop this man up. Oh, he has an Aegis. Look at his soul later with an Aegis. What are you doing, my man? Ah, shit. Oh, look at the nemesis. She's very low. Shebang. Zeus should be the next, but I feel he can catch him. Popping horrific, he's slow. That was nuts. This should be game. We catch her, it's game. Let's go, there baby. you go, my boys. Good shit. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, those those VGSs are getting ridiculous nowadays. You can get banned for saying that in the chat, but they can say it. And that's a game. I have 17 kill participation out of 27. More than anyone on the field. Oh, Janice actually has the same amount. But it's, it's fine. It's Janice. He can be everywhere. Okay, in terms of damage, uh, we have 15k. It's actually more than Bologna did. Our ADC has 1k above the Zeus. Our mid, uh, what was the mid? The mid was Baron? Was it Baron? I think it was Baron. So it's 10k over double damage. Our junglers are the same damage and our solo lane is about the same damage as Thor. So it's literally just our mid uh, really doing the job for us in terms of damage. But look at the warding. Our jungler managed to put down two wards, even considering he has like free wards and shit. So that is extremely unfortunate to see. I put down 11, which is more than anyone else on the field. And Janice, as expected, also puts down 10, which is almost as many as I did. And the surprising thing would be, or the bad thing would be in this regard, is that the enemy support, even with having free wards and being a support, just puts down three. And I contribute their loss a lot to that. Please put down the free wards, guys. It's not hard, it's totally worth it. And you're not gonna look like a fool if you do. In terms of builds, uh, we're going straight for um, 
boots, uh, shoes of folks. I decided the CDR is really good considering my jump is on short, such a short cooldown. So variety for more HP5 and some passive protection for my mates. Uh, on Igar because we're constantly in a lot of people and those mitigations are priceless. Tyrannical Plate Helm because it gives so much protection and power. Void Stone for even more penetration. Uh, not entirely sure what my last item would be. In terms of stats, we're sitting at uh, 180 and 170 protections, which is fine at this stage of the game, 25 minutes into the game. In terms of Relic, we have Horrific because I expected some stupid ADC in the lane and that was Zeus, which is the most stupid thing possible. It's really easy to lock him down with the Horrific. And uh, Thor's because I wanted to be aggressive, wanted to be in the face. You go in, they pop their shit, you go out, you got thorns while you do it. So if somebody is low, they have to go all in and you, they cannot get out from you. So they have to go all in, that's when you pop thorns and they kill themselves. Comparing that to enemy uh, support, she has warrior's bl blessing with a lot of attack and just one defensive item that's not a way to go that's a big no-no she was dying too fast she was dealing damage and it was a little bit hard for us in early game but in the end it's completely not worth it and yeah that'll be shin chan game guys top guardian top support right now very very annoying they just announced that they're gonna nerf him and it's totally expected he's under the radar on a lot of people and he's absolute beast in this uh, duo lane right now play him until the nerf he's broken <laughs> and he's probably gonna still stay very potent after the nerf as well if you new to the channel Please subscribe, it helps me immensely. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment. It helps the YouTube algorithm and me. I'm responding to every comment that you leave in my channel. If you like the video, please like the video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video.